now with some astronomical numbers when it comes to incarcerations across the nation. You can see those numbers right here behind me. Now we're going to meet two Rhode Island lawmakers going from serving time to serving others and using their personal experience to try to improve the justice system. I never thought I'd be a politician. The biggest thing for me is to inspire the next person who's been impacted by the criminal legal system to go for it and run for office and, and try to know they're more than their, their past record. Being arrested has a significant impact in people's lives and it definitely had an impact in mine. We are changing the name. We've been able to work together to achieve changes in our criminal legal system. Hello, going on a break? <laughs> in the early 90s, late 80s, it was really a, accentuated hype on the war on drugs. And here I was, wrongfully convicted for these drug charges, and then was saddled with a felony conviction. The second time, they arrested me for not testifying against, you know, the person who harmed me. And not given many choices, you're held automatically for two weeks. Although I was able to bail out and fight my case from the outside, it still felt in many ways as if I was still incarcerated. I would work minimum wage jobs, work at local food restaurants. I went into rehab, I successfully completed the program and was able to get the record expunged and sealed. I was able to be on public assistance as long as I continued school. I ended up going from community college and graduating from Brown with honors. I applied for one job that was helping people who were coming out of prison and doing mentoring programs. I felt as though that I could do a better job in terms of supporting my community should they go through that process. Because I have the experience of going to the criminal and legal system, I reached out to my own state representative and really felt unheard. And I would be like, okay, so how can we change things and what can we do? They would always encourage, you should run for office. We need more people with diverse lived experience at the State House. Never had I ever imagined in my wildest dreams that this would happen. To have community members come to the State House and testify and say, because you're there, I feel so much more comfortable testifying. Because you are there, as someone that looks like me, I feel listened to. How you doing? How you doing? Hi! The one biggest thing for me is to inspire the next person to run for office so we can start to have real policy, criminal legal reform that actually improves the lives of people in the communities. This is the People's House, and you're welcome here at any time. Bravo. I was just telling Rhiannon, this is a perfect way to turn your mess into your message. That is beautiful. Let it work for you. Let it work yeah. for you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.